Um, let's take a look at some pictures from the field. Does anybody know what we're actually looking at in this picture, though? I guess that would be the question. The image you're looking at that's using to illustrate some stuff is a temperature and pressure relief valve. Very good. That's a heat sensitive member. It's actually a short one. Um, about, I think that one's a four inch one, even though it doesn't look like it's four inches. Um, that's what's in there. Keep in mind for some of you who may be working with people right now, this portion is going into a water heater, a hot water storage tank. This is the blow off portion here. It even has an arrow right there that's pointing down but you never, ever, ever, ever want to be screwing a piece of plastic, PEX, Schedule 40 PVC, or anything in that outlet. It always should be a non-ferrous metal, meaning brass, copper. Never, ever, ever a plastic material. You'll hear about a homopolymer material that you can use, which is really not plastic. Actually, homopolymers have a higher temperature than that device can blow off at. There is a series of questions that deal with this label, which is actually a label on the top of that temperature and pressure relief valve that you're seeing right there. It's right in there. When we go to that next screen, you're looking at that label. Now, why is this so important? A, it's important because nobody looks at it. They don't check if the BTUs of the water heater match the BTUs on the relief valve. They don't check whether or not the heat sensitive member is actually in contact with tank water. Those two numbers on the top there, that 150 and that 210 degrees, those are two very important numbers because they're preventing the water heater from being a bomb. If any of you ever watched Mythbusters, one of their favorite myth busting pieces was to see if a water heater really blew up or really launched like a rocket through a building. They loved doing it. If you haven't seen it, you gotta like try to find the clips on YouTube or something because they did an unbelievable job. There is actually so many YouTube videos out there about water heaters blowing up because people either plugged off relief valves or didn't understand how they worked or installed the wrong relief valves, temperature or pressure or both temperature and pressure. What temperature does a temperature and pressure relief valve blow off as pressure? 150. 210. 210 is the limit. The general law, the general laws of plumbing in Mass General Law Chapter 142 state that a temperature and pressure relief valve device, in this case temperature, must be designed to release before it reaches 212 to prohibit the tank contents from reaching a temperature of 212 degrees. So that's why it's 210 degrees Fahrenheit. But the thing that makes you look like an absolute boob is when you screw a piece of PVC into the outlet discharge of a temperature and pressure relief valve, if it's Schedule 40 PVC breaks down at 180 degrees and you're going to screw it into a relief valve that doesn't even discharge to 210, it instantaneously is going to melt and it's going to start spraying water in all directions. And sometimes there's been little kids down there playing in a playroom the water heater is like in a closet with louvers on it. I could tell you hundreds of stories about really dynamically dumb plumbers who paid zero attention to what they were doing and never paid attention to anything they learned in school and somehow still got their license and maimed little kids for their entire life. 150 PSI, 210 degrees. All of them are that way. Let's look at a couple more just to make sure that um, you're going to start looking at them a little better. This case here, it's a temperature and pressure relief for a 
bigger water heater. You're looking at a 140X and the manufacturer of this relief valve is Watts. There are plenty of other manufacturers of relief valves, but those labels are important to you. You see a 150 embossed in 210 printed on there. You see the ANSI standards, not so important. Um, the BTU rating, you can barely see, but this water heater that this is hooked up to or storage tank, 670,000 BTUs. They come in all shapes, sizes, numbers. This is a one inch one. Most of the ones you're going to do with three quarter. They're a half inch. You're supposed to know where you can use a half inch. All of these are pressure relief valves. These would be used on boilers or tankless water heaters. Have a coil in a boiler, a copper coil that's in a boiler. You're not going to use a temperature and pressure relief valve because it's always going to be going off. But you will always use a pressure relief valve on a tankless water coil. They're all devices. They're known as safety devices, and they're part of what we call the boiler laws that come from Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 142, Section 17, 18, and 19.